if we go to the Talmudic period or the Talmud itself, are there any references to Kabbalah in the Talmud? And when the Talmud speaks about those mysterious areas that require a certain way of studying, is that understood to be Kabbalah, but not spelled out as Kabbalah? How does it play out in the Talmud? Yeah, so that, that's a good question. So, you know, what you're referring to is, uh, you know, the famous Mishnah in Masechet Chagiga. Uh, I think of it as a famous Mishnah, but this is, you know, the material that I work on, maybe it's, it's not necessarily so famous. But but the the Mishnah Masechet Chagiga that prohibits the public exposition of Maseb Rashid and Maseh Merkava. And Maseb Rashid seems to be some sort of esoteric understanding of Breshit, of, of the creation narrative in Breshit. And Maseh Merkava seems to be some sort of esoteric understanding of the first parak of Yechezkel, of Yechezkel's chariot vision. And Chazal, for the most part, you know, follow their own strictures, meaning Chazal doesn't really explain what Maseh Breshit and what Maseh Merkava is. There are various stories of people who studied Maseh Merkava, but the the contents of, of, of that are, for the most part, really unclear. Now, medieval Mekubali, medieval Kabbalists, saw their traditions as Maseh Breshit and Maseh Merkava. Uh, Chazal were just hinting at them, and for various historical reasons, um, what Chazal only hinted at later, Mukabalim felt it was time and necessary to to publish. Um, that's the uh, a ballistic account. But, but you know, more rationalist Jewish philosophers saw Maseh Breshit and Maseh Merkava as reflecting philosophical secrets, um, secrets related to a more uh, rational Aristotelian um, understanding. So, for example, the Rambam understands Maseh Breshit and Maseh Merkava as related to Aristotle's physics and metaphysics. From a scholarly point of view, uh, a modern scholarly academic point of view, it's neither Kabbalah in terms of, if you mean by Kabbalah, Kabbalah has firot, and it certainly isn't Aristotelian philosophy. But what it may be, what it may refer to is this whole uh, other genre of literature that we have known as Hechalot literature. Hechalot literature has the same dating and authorship problems as a lot of other texts, such as the Bahir, such as Sefer Yitzirah, etc. It's literature, again, written in the name of Chazal, uh, the major figures are Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Shmael, it seems, and there's various clues to this, that the Rambam himself had no use for this literature and, and rejected it fully. Um, but Kabbalists did view it as part of their canon, part, part of their tradition. It describes um, mystical ascents. It describes the nature of the divine realm. And even some academic scholars, while maybe it's not the actual words of Rabbi Akiva or Rabbi Shmael do believe that it goes back to the time of, of Chazal, perhaps to the second century even. And there, there is a real possibility that the Maseb Rashid, or more particularly the Maseb Merkava, that Chazal referred to, that they don't want to share publicly, is what made its way into the Chalot literature. And uh, I'll just give one example, and then uh and I'll, I'll stop. You know, there's the famous Arba Sheikh Lesula Pardis account that appears in various places in rabbinic literature, and it's really unclear what that means. Uh, what, what the account means, what exactly, uh, for example, does Rabbi Akiva mean when he says, you shouldn't say my my, you shouldn't say water, water. You know, a strange statement which lacks explanation. If you look in the Chalot literature, it's actually very clear. Uh, there's an account of precisely what the Arba Shalich Tasula Pardis story is really about. And, and the historical question is, is that the inside scoop? Meaning, is that, do they have kind of the inside knowledge, the writers of Hechalot literature, and this is really Chazal's Baseh Merkava, 
or is it just a later interpretation like any other later interpretation? And scholars have gone have gone you know in both ways on, on that question. <laughs> 